Well, the personalities on L.A. radio stations change more often than some people change their socks. But at K-Rock, the Kevin and Bean show has been an exception for years, with longtime personalities cultivating that loyal audience. But last week, that all changed. For nearly 20 years on K-Rock, Ralph Garman has kept L.A.'s morning radio listeners laughing. Because I thought it would be something to fun for the show, and it wouldn't involve... Anyone getting hurt? A master of voices. I hit the it microphone. Was, I don't, oh, good. It was all for you. <laughs> and how is it? How is the microphone? And a talented actor. Oh, somebody shoot some. <laughs> I took a half day off work for this. He's also a huge comic book fan, which led to the push to get his childhood hero, Batman's Adam West, the recognition he deserved. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. <laughs> All this while co-hosting one of the most popular podcasts out there with filmmaker Kevin Smith. Here's the new Lindsay Lohan jingle for her news. Lindsay Lohan, why don't you come to your senses? <laughs> we welcome Ralph Garman to Fox 11. Your first interview. It is, since yes. leaving K-Rock just Thursday, Thursday yeah. morning, yeah. where you couldn't say anything about what happened. I was instructed not to, yeah. Okay. They let me say goodbye, which was nice. Doesn't always happen yeah. in the broadcasting industry. Someday you're there, and then the next day you're gone. But uh, they let me say goodbye to the audience of almost Shocking two decades. everyone. Yes, and, uh, but that was it. I wasn't allowed to say what the circumstances were around my leaving, which I think my fear was it would make it sound like I was leaving on your own? On my own. Like I was retiring or leaving the show, and that was not the case. Well, then tell us what was the reason. Was it budget cuts? Um, give us an explanation. If As you can. To the best of my knowledge, uh, new ownership came in that owned the station, and they decided that they were going to save some money. And the way to do that was to, uh, was to get rid of me. And which was a, a shock because leading up to that point, I was told that my contract was going to be renewed. Maybe some renegotiations, but overall it was going to be renewed. And my deal was up at the end of November, which was last Thursday. And as we got into the month, I started questioning, it's a little late for negotiations, exactly what's happening. And then that's when they finally told me that they would not be renewing my contract. Well, it's a rough and tumble business. We yes. all know that, right? I got 18 years. That's a pretty yeah, good run. That's right? a wonderful run. Yeah. Your fans love you. They were outraged. Have if you heard I from them? If I knew how much people liked me, and how much they were going to show their love, I would have gotten fired years ago. They really, <laughs> they've come out of the woodwork and been so nice to me. So, yeah. D did you learn that morning? Uh, no, I knew, I knew, I'd known a couple days previous to that, which made it almost even more awkward because I had to sort of pretend it was business as usual leading up to that. And then uh, Thursday I knew uh, it was going to be the final day, so I had my chance to say goodbye to people. And I cried okay. like a baby. <laughs> All right. So, as we said, last Thursday was Ralph's last day on K-Rock. After nearly 20 years with the station, it was understandably very emotional. Let's take a listen. Today is my last Kevin and Bean show. I'm going to be uh, leaving the show. And uh, the only reason I really bring it up is because I wanted to talk to you folks, the listeners, who for the past almost 20 years have been there for me uh, professionally and personally and I wanted to say goodbye to you and uh, thank you for everything. I don't know what's going to happen uh, down the road but I hope I will get a chance to make you smile and laugh again someday. And uh, So thanks for everything and uh, I'm Ralph Garman. I walk the show busy. Uh, we really feel for you oh, when, when we listen to that again. Um, you've had a couple of days to process it now. What was going through you emotionally at that time when you said goodbye? Um, as you can hear there, I really was going to miss entertaining those people in the morning because they'd always been so kind to let me know that I got them through a bad commute or a, or a bad day at the office or some problem they were having. They were able to get a smile or a laugh out of something that I said or did on the morning show. And for me, that was really sort of the most satisfying part of it all. And so saying goodbye to those people who had been also very supportive and caring for me over the years it was hard. I'm not great at goodbyes, and that was, that was a hard one. It's just been a few days. How are you doing? Um, I'm reeling a little bit. Yeah, I mean, after, after almost two decades of doing something every yeah. day, it's a, it's a shock to the system, and I'm still not sure what's next for me. You know, I'm still trying to figure out mm -hmm. what the next chapter is going to be. So 
It is. Uh, are you guys hiring, by the way? I'm just <laughs> curious if you guys have a, any yeah. openings. I'm, hey, I can put I an know. application in <laughs> while but, I'm here. But being so multi-talented, you have your fingers in a lot of different. I mean, you're, you're doing a lot. Or I don't do any, any one thing well enough to get a job at <laughs> it. That's another no, way to look at it. You're very humble. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk about Adam West because uh. you looked up to him and you made sure that he got his props. Tell us about that, and, and did you actually develop a friendship? Adam and I were very close friends for the past uh, 12 years of his life, the last 12 years. And um, I was a huge Batman fan growing up as a kid. And then when I moved to Los Angeles and started working out here, I had the uh, good fortune of, work, of interviewing him a couple times on the radio show once I'd started. And then I do voices for Family Guy with yes. Seth MacFarlane, of course. And Adam was, of course, the mayor of Quahog, Rhode Island on that show. So we got to work together on that. And we worked together on several TV projects and really got to be very close. And I got to be good friends with his wife, Marcel, and his family, and they're just a, they're a wonderful family. And when I found out that he didn't have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, I kind of got outraged about that. So we did, we went to work, and it took us a couple of years, but we finally got him one. Well, I look at the, the, the names used to describe you, and what you did for, for Adam was amazing. Icon, people have called you genius. <laughs> they say with uh, K-Rock, it's an end of an era. That's nice. Um, you're, you're still on the podcast with Kevin Smith. Yes. Hollywood Babylon. You yeah. haven't had one, though, since this all happened. No, we haven't talked about it yet. How do you think it's going to be when you do come back and do the podcast? Well, you know, the podcast is interesting because it's almost its own thing. Yeah. And the fan base is international. I mean, we've got tons of fans in England and Canada and uh, Australia and New Zealand, as well as the States. So the people who know me from the podcast almost exclusively know me for that. There's some crossover with the K-Rock audience, but um, I think that will pretty much still stand on its own. And it's great for me to still have an outlet and, and a chance to work with my good friends. But you can talk about it then. Yes, exactly. Yes, I will talk about it. I will address it. And, uh, and I think it's, it's an opportunity at least to tell the listeners what really happened as far as I know. Uh, we heard you emotional just a few minutes ago yes. on tape. Are you able to take anything away from this? Do you ever pull back from it and actually have a laugh now and then? I mean, sometimes we use material from our own lives, and we actually can use them in a humorous way. Have you had that moment yet? Um, yeah, I think so, in terms that, I mean, I got asked to be here today. If I'd known I, would, you know, I was going to be newsworthy just by being fired, I would have reconsidered <laughs> keeping that job for that long. Uh, I have been getting a lot of attention, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, that's the upside of it. Yeah, because you, you hear from people yeah. some things that you never yeah. knew people felt so this way So many about nice you. things people yeah. have been saying. It's really remarkable. Now, if I can just, you know, pay my, my mortgage with nice things, then I'll be set. Right. Understood. That's yeah. the hard part. Is there anything you'd really like to say to your listeners? Um, basically just what I said that day, which was an, uh, tremendously supportive in everything I do. I mean, the people who listen to K-Rock would also go see me in uh, the movie that Seth MacFarlane did, or watch me on television, or listen to Family Guy, or go to see the live uh, Hollywood Babylon podcast. Yeah. Seems like whatever I was involved in, it, involved in, they would be there for me and, and show up. And that was uh, just enormous gratitude for all those people. Well, a few right. people to have, get to have a record like that. Yeah. Really cool. It's been a good run. Yeah, yeah. So, really yeah. proud. We're going to hear what people have to yeah. say. You're yeah. listeners. They're, they've been jumping oh. on our Twitter. Oh, Janelle boy. says... Is this uh, like mean tweets? Or <laughs> this gonna I don't be? think so. Janelle says, Ralph's comedic timing and brilliance got me through some of the hardest times, mm. got me up, and on work days when my depression was at its worst, he shared his whole life with us, and his strength through the loss of his mother and son was inspiring. That's really wonderful. That's, Your thoughts? That, that, uh, that means a lot. But it, again... You know, I, I get as good as I give because when, I, when my son passed or when my mother passed, the outpouring of love I got from the listeners was life-saving, really. It yeah. bolstered me up in yeah. my lowest points, and you don't forget those people. So moving. Yeah. yeah. Well, somebody else writing here. This is Nick saying, tell Ralph he and his eight impressions are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we'll support him wherever he goes. That's the kind of love I'm talking about. They really do show up wherever I go, no matter what I do. I can wow. count on, they call themselves the Garmy, the yeah. people, uh, my yeah. fans who show up and, and are there for me. And uh, it's, you know, you consider yourself when you're just doing a radio show or just doing some, some uh, you know, small bit parts in, radio, in television or film that uh, you couldn't possibly garner that much affection or attention from people. Yeah. And so to find oh. out that you do and uh, people say such nice things, it's... It's really cool. truly have a fan base. Yeah. I really do. That's and really it's, nice. uh, no one is more surprised than I am. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one more. Uh, Ralph is a true gem of a human being. His humor was amazing. 
but it was his real life personal words that meant the most. I'll miss him on the radio, but will follow his new endeavors and support him as best I can. Love you, Ralph. Well, that's from Mr. Knight. That is terrific. And uh, I hope to be back someplace soon where they can all come and uh, check out what I do.